Katie Kioski. The great thing about Chicago is there's always something to discover. Here on Chicago Revealed, we leave no stone unturned and show you the people and places that make Chicago a city like no other. On this episode of Chicago Revealed, we urge you not to try this at home. It takes a lot of practice. We'll introduce you to a group of local women who are in touch with their wild side. And you're never too old for toys. We'll show you where you can find one of the most unique collections in the city. And Chicago is a city of big hearts. We'll give you an inside look at the life of a local woman's battle with cancer and how she's getting a helping hand. Now, a sword is a pretty powerful thing. This is actually a replica of a European sword used for combat fighting in the 1800s. Now, there's a group of women here in Chicago that say they're not afraid to use them. So this is um, a custom rapier my husband got for me for Christmas last year. Uh, it's got my initial in the hilt. It has a pink sapphire embedded in the little heart, and there's a heart on the back as well. And uh, this is stingray skin instead of leather for the grip, so it's a really great grip to hold on to. Not many women would be this proud of a sword, but Stephanie is a member of Babes with Blades, a group of Chicago women who fight for fun. I still often get the question, why on earth do you want to do that? You know, women are supposed to be nice and sweet, and I'm sometimes nice, I'm sometimes sweet, but I also have another side. I can be aggressive and I can be strong. The 16-member ensemble puts on two productions a year in local theaters. And they don't just use swords, they use guns, daggers, ropes, and sticks. They even go at it with their bare fists and everything from horror productions to comedies and romantic dramas. A lot of times when you see women portrayed on stage and TV, uh, there's a very sort of narrow type of role that they can do. They're the girlfriend or the mom. They're usually supporting the main action. We put up plays that throw women into the heart of the action. We put women in the spotlight. Last night, I witnessed a solar eclipse. Babes with Blades started in 1997, when local actress Don Alden wanted to use the stage combat training she had learned in acting school, but found no roles for women to fight on stage. She gathered together a group of actresses who also wanted to embrace their inner warrior, and they started writing and choreographing their own plays, starring, of course, an all-female cast. Ten years later, the Babes are the only ensemble of its kind in Chicago, and one of only two in the United States. And they're still getting a common reaction. Women don't fight. <laughs> well, yes, they do. If you read your history books, not usually the ones that they give you in, you know, History 101, but if you dig a little deeper, you can find examples of women all throughout history that have taken up arms for a variety of reasons. Personal, for country, for vengeance, for for glory, you name it. Women have fought in every time period in every geographical location in history. We caught up with Babes with Blades here at the Theater Building Chicago and Lakeview where they're having a fundraiser tonight. Now we're here a little bit early. I hope that's okay because these are a group of women I do not want to upset. The Babes were gearing up to put on a show fighting with these. Yes, those are pool noodles to raise money for their upcoming romantic drama, Los Desaparecidos, at the Raven Theater on Chicago's North Side. So this is our weapon of choice tonight. It uh, it's, lacks the sophistication of a rapier. It has a lot going for it. You can really sort of go to town with a pool noodle and nobody gets hurt. Uh, plus it brings you back to your days of being a kid. <laughs> As they were setting up for this particular fundraiser, they couldn't resist showing us what they can do with their swords. Just remember, we are trained professionals, so please don't try this at home uh, or in the supermarket or by the pool or in front of your grandma 
even though you want to shock her. It'll be our little secret. Contrary to what you may think, these women do not glamorize violence. In fact, they say the art of stage combat is just the opposite. It's actually an illusion of violence and requires cooperation with your partner in order to work. <laughs> to prove it, they offered to give me a lesson. Just like that. There you go. Okay. Oh, look at this. How am I doing? How there am I doing? You know, brilliant. <laughs> and put your chin up. Okay. Put your hand on your hip. All right. You are now a swashbuckling swordswoman extraordinaire. <laughs> now, I don't feel like I'm fighting you. I really feel like we are almost dancing. We are very similar to dancing. Yeah, I don't feel like we're, we're against each other. I feel like we're working together. Absolutely. We're partners. But if we were putting this on stage, we would add some acting. So we would make it look a little bit more fierce. Okay, Arr! don't get too fierce. <laughs> Well I'm still alive, I survived. <laughs> it's obvious these women love to have fun, but they are serious about setting the record straight. Stage fighting is not just for men. In the future, they hope to recruit more talented women and expand the number of productions they put on in Chicago each year. And most importantly, they're hoping to get rid of stereotypes and give Chicagoans a glimpse at how athletic, strong, and proficient women can be in the art of stage combat. I walk differently now. Um, I used to be very shy and, you know, wouldn't even look people in the eye. And I carry myself very differently now. It's kind of hokey to say, but it's kind of a very empowering sort of feeling. Like, I'm amazing, I can do these great things, and people, and everyone is always just really pleased with what we do, which makes it all the more rewarding.